Hey guys, I'm Tiffany from HopeJoyInChrist.com and it's Friday so we're going to spend a few minutes and talk over an issue and then pray over something going on in our country this week. Um, I just want to share with you honestly just some things in, in my life. I am the mother of two beautiful little girls. I call them my two little blessings. Um, and they are five, and this week my oldest turned eight. So she is officially what they call a tween. I think when it was my generation, we were a preteen with all of that lovely hormonal crazy shifting and all of that. Um, so anyway, we've been kind of heading down that road for, I want to say the past year, or it could just feel like a year, right? Because there's a lot of crazy ups and downs. Um. And so this summer has been filled with birthday parties and graduation parties and weddings and divorces and just crazy events like that. And every time I go to one of those and even just planning our own, you know, tomorrow's going to be the big celebration for her eighth birthday. And I don't know, my heart just gets burdened over the youth in our country. It just feels like they're in a bad place, you know? And I know you can look around and see the same thing. We have all kinds of crazy violence in our city. There are places, you know, we're warned not to go because there's so much violence and the youth are kind of running that area. And so it's not safe. Um, we have <clears throat> this crazy heroin epidemic that's plaguing our city and, and it's in our young adults and our high school youth. And um, it's just kind of, Everywhere I look, I see our youth are searching after something, right? Our church and our pastor have really been talking to us a lot about, you know, how we are supposed to be finding our true satisfaction in Jesus, how we're supposed to be leading people in a path to help them find their true satisfaction in Jesus. And, um, man, I just have to tell you, my heart is burdened for the youth in that particular area because I feel like that's what they're looking for. They're trying to get satisfaction in their life. They're trying to find love. They're trying to find acceptance. Um, the problem is they're going down the wrong path to find it, right? I mean, I was like that. I was young, not old now, but when I was younger, you know, I knew Jesus and I was still trying to go after and find these crazy things to meet this need. I, I didn't understand it myself. So as I'm kind of watching my children grow up and come up and my heart is really motivated to find a way to help them, to find a way to lead them toward that satisfying peace that is Jesus Christ. Um, and, and there's not going to be any amount of like shoving the Bible down their throat. I don't, I don't think that's the answer. So one thing I know, and I'm sure you all have figured me out so far, is my heart just leans toward prayer. You know, I don't have the answers, but I have a direct channel to the one who does have the answer. And the thing is, y'all, God cares more about our youth than we ever could. He wants them one for him. He wants them seeking satisfaction in him. And so, you know, doesn't it make sense that we would just lift them up to him? <clears throat> A few months ago, I had to be a part of um, a blog party, which was a lot of fun. I didn't know, you know, blog party. That doesn't really sound like fun, except the word parties tagged to the end. And I got to meet um, 30, 29 or 30 amazing women whose hearts are really driven toward raising their children with a biblical worldview, raising their children to know Jesus and love Jesus. And one of them... Um, Terry Lynn Underwood, she wrote this book and it just came out this past week, um, called praying for girls. I'm going to show it to you on my Kindle. It's going to be backwards. So just imagine it transposed. There it is. So this book is, um, just an amazing resource for praying over our youth. And she has geared it toward girls, y'all, but I have two girls and I babysit another girl and two boys. And I have so enjoyed praying these prayers over all of my children. I think they apply across the board, boys, girls, whatever. And she has laid this book out in a way that is so simple to read. Um, I'm reading it as I put my youngest down for nap time. That is also a time that I kind of pray over them, pray over the needs in our family. <clears throat> 
and I'm able to read it and still get on the kids as they, you know, think nobody's looking and are looking at from their mats. And as you read through it, she has pulled scripture out and then written the scripture as a prayer where you can just fill in your child's name. Um, and so a section of that really spoke to me this week. And that is what I'm going to pray over our youth. If I can get back to the page, I have marked it. Um, it's all about knowing that they are loved by God, knowing that God loves them more than we do. I mean, do you ever wonder if they know? I don't know. I know we talk about that in our home. You know, mommy loves you, but who loves you more than mommy? God does. And and it's almost a game like to them, like that they can say it faster than I can say it. But I want them to know that, y'all, because I'm going to mess up. I'm going to get it wrong. And I need them to know that there is someone bigger than us whose love is bigger, who has an unconditional love. There's nothing that they can do to make him love them more. There's nothing that they can do to make him love them less. He just loves them and has the best plans for their future and for their life. And, um, and so that is what we're going to pray over the youth of our city today, just that they will know that God loves them as they are out and they are seeking satisfaction. All of these things of the world that are never, never going to give them the satisfaction they're looking for, that there will somehow be someone come into their life and show them there is a way to get that satisfaction. And it is through the person of Jesus Christ and the Father God who loves them. He just loves them. Don't you know they want to be loved? They want to know they're loved. And and so we're just going to pray this over them. And um, and if y'all, honest to goodness, if y'all have a chance and you're out at a bookstore or you enjoy reading books on your Kindle, this is probably the best $10 I have spent in a long time. Um, and I'm not an affiliate of hers. It's not anything that's going to make me money. It is just blessing my life and my home. And I think you will just enjoy it so much reading this. So if you all would just come to the Lord in prayer for me, with me. Father God, we just thank you so much that you are a God who loves us, that you are a God who God loved us so much that you sent your only son to die on a cross, to take the consequence for the sins that I would commit. And I hadn't even been born. God, that you love me and you know all of us, you knew us and loved us and did that knowing the mess of a life we would live. God, I just pray for the youth in this city in Louisville. God, they are desperately seeking you in all the wrong places. God, I pray for a revival to break out amongst our city that people would become involved and get engaged with the youth, begin to know them, relate to them, connect to them so that there is some relationship and some authority where they can speak life into their lives, God. They need someone to speak life over them, someone to care for them and show them the love of God. Your word says that how can they hear unless someone tells them, God, I pray that you would give us a holy boldness to speak and to speak truth and to speak life in love to these youth, God. God, I just want to pray Psalm 119, 88, Lord, it is your love, a love that never changes and never fails, that gives us life. Father, I just lift up the youth in our city, the youth in our nation, and pray that they would trust in that love and abide in you always. Lord, in Jeremiah 31, God, I just pray, you know, in this world where love can fail and fall away, God, and how many of them have experienced that personally, they know that this love in this world is conditional. It doesn't last, God, but I pray that they would grasp the beauty of your everlasting love and your faithfulness to them. God, I pray that they would taste it and see and know that you are good and that you can give the satisfaction they are seeking. God, I just thank you in advance for all that you are doing and will do in this city, Louisville, and in this country, God, the United States, I pray that it would become a movement with our youth, that they would begin to come back to you. God, and I praise your name for it. In Jesus' name.
name I pray. Amen. Thank y'all for coming and praying. Remember, just share it. Let's be praying across the internet for our country, Freedom Friday. Um, and if there's anything that I can be praying for you, for your family about, please just drop a comment below and just know that I pray. I pray for the people who subscribe to my page. I pray for the people who subscribe to this channel. And if that is something that you just want in your family, if you're in that place, I would love, it would be an honor to pray for you. And I hope y'all will just be blessed until we see you next Friday. Bye.